In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mask confidential data by indexing uh, the numbers. And I'm going to show you two ways of doing that. Indexing to the top value in your data set or indexing to a random anchor value. So um, I have here um, total sales values. I'm happy to show you know the trend of my sales, but I'm not happy to show the actual sales values. This I consider to be confidential data to my organization. So what we're going to do here, uh, first, I am going to sort it from the largest to the smallest. And this is the easiest way to do it. I'm just going to call this first value here 100. And then I'm going to divide everybody by this value. So this is going to be my denominator. I'm going to divide everybody for uh, this value here and then multiply by 100. So equals h3 divided by h2 and then times 100. So that means that, and you see here, um, I already had formatting here that has reduced my decimal places, but normally if you get you know a number like that, you just come here and you decrease the, dec the decimal places. All right, so uh, that means that for every $100 that I made for pineapples, which is the first item, I made 58 or 59 for kiwis. So this number should keep decreasing because you see that the sales values here, sales values here is low, are smaller. If I drag this formula down, however, unedited, you see that it's not working. Those numbers are not right. What I have to do, I have to fix the denominator because we're going to divide everybody by H2. So in order to do that, I just have to use dollar signs front of H and two. Okay, so uh, you do not fix the first number. The first number number has to go down the list, but you do have to fix the denominator. All right, now if I drag this down, I'm just gonna bring cursor here, bottom right, double click. Now you see that this is correct. Okay, I'm gonna show you a second way of doing the same. Oh, sorry, one more thing before I show you that. I said here I indexed um, one 100, but I could have said a thousand. You see, if the numbers come down here and they start getting too small, what you can do is just add a zero here and then multiply everything for a thousand rather than a hundred. So then your numbers are uh, bigger. You just drag it down, drag the formula down the same way you did before. And you just have an extra and there you go okay i'm going to show you now how to do the same without ordering your data i'm going to delete the, the numbers that i had here and let's say that this is sorted you know by region rather than total so the numbers are not uh, from the largest to the smallest so what we can do here we can um, use max uh, in the denominator so let's do this again equals so here, rather than calling, because this is not the, high, the highest number, right? So I'm going to have to calculate from here as well. So I'm going to do equals this number here divided by the max in the whole range. So I, I start the, uh, the, for the function max and then I select all of the numbers I have. So it's h2 divided by the max and then multiplied by 100. And I'm going to press return. Um, do I want to autofill? No, because again, I have to fix the range. Okay, so let me, if I autofill, I'm going to have the same problem as before. So I have to fix the whole range. So dollar signs before column and before row number. And once the range is fixed, now I am able to drag the formula down. So let's look now that I have my index total. If I again sort, you can see that the largest volume value is 100. So two ways of doing the same thing. Either you sort by the highest value and call it 100 and then do it, or you just do it by the max, which is basically the same thing. Okay. Now, this is indexed on the highest, as I said, but if you don't want to index on the highest, you can just uh, index on a, on a random number. We want to do, and my value here I'm going to say is 1325, just randomly. Uh, so I'm going to do equals uh, my number 
divided by this random value, which I just created out of thin air, times 100. So that's my index value. And then what I'm going to do here, as always, I'm going to fix k2, because everybody has to be divided by the same. OK, so k2 has been fixed. And then I drag this down. And ta-da. Now, very important, if you are going to share this, uh, if you're going to share this data here, let me make a copy of this sheet. Um, I'm just going to duplicate it. I want to show you something. Um, so, you know, this is indexed on the random value. I selected all of the data. Let me insert here a chart. And let me show you. Um, okay, so this is this is how my data looks like. Uh, if I was to index on the 100, it's going to be looking exactly the same. Okay, so say this is 100 and everybody is divided by the top one times 100, not forgetting to fix the denominator. If I, if I put this, um, numbers here on the graph, insert, chart, it's exactly the same. You see? So the trend is the same, the numbers here are going to be different, but these numbers don't mean anything because they are indexed. You see, this is an index on a random number and this is an index on a hundred. Uh, you can see the trend, but you cannot see the real uh, numbers. Now, very important, if you, f uh, if you index on a random number, of course, you cannot share the random number because then, um, you know, uh, whoever you shared your data with is going to be able to understand what the original values are. Now, one last thing that I want to show you is, OK, I said that the data on column H is sensitive data. So what you do is just copy everything, uh, all of the index total. So I'm just going to copy and then I'm going to come here, right click, paste special, values only. Now, this column here doesn't make sense anymore. So this is your total indexed. And you could share this, um, all of this data here with your client because you copy and pasted um, only the values. They're not able to see the formulas. Of course, you would have to delete the random number. And that's uh, totally uh, safe data that you can share externally and that protects your sensitive data.